there's that A power chord. And then that, that thing I showed you earlier, that classic rock and roll um, <laughs> voicing, uh, we're going to slide up to the seventh fret. Sorry, ninth fret. So. Got that? So ninth fret, and we do our, our hammering on with our second and third fingers. And that's basically an E chord, an E major, with what they call a suspended variation. So we're adding these extra notes. So we got this. And I'm using my other hand here just to show you. How it kind of colors up the chord a bit. So, uh, too much talking, not enough playing. So let me get back to it. So. You show us every. Keep on dancing in the new Then they, they go down two frets. Back up. Intro. And repeat. Pretty cool, right? So A chord down here, E chord up here with our variation, back to the A. Now, instead of jumping all the way back down here, you can do an A power chord on the two middle strings. So you can go like this. Same, same thing in a different position. And you can add the open A string at the same time. Instead of doing this, do this. Because you're closer to where that other chord is. So the first one you can do down here. Okay, pretty simple. So that ninth fret with our, our suspended variation, and then we slide down two frets to the seventh fret, suspended variation, back to the ninth, repeat the intro, and then repeat the whole section again. Pretty simple, right? Now, they repeat it, and then they wrap it up by doing this. That's the uh, you keep on shouting, you keep on shouting. So let me play it, play the whole thing again, and um, you can hear it in context. So uh, I'll just jump right to the verse, the you show us everything you got part. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> What's happening there for that you keep on shouting part is playing a power chord at the eighth fret, eighth fret, which is an F chord. And another way, another variation of that, that right? We're just going to keep with the, the two finger power chord and stretch our pinky out two frets higher than where our third finger is. So that's at the 8th fret, and then we jump up to the 10th fret. And we pause while the drums do their thing, and that takes us into the chorus. So again. Next part. Chorus. On a rock and roll all. So what's happening here is we got the A, A chord here that we've talked about already. On a rock and roll all. We slide our finger up to the seventh fret 
with our suspended variation. Ninth fret. Suspended variation. Repeat. Really simple. So those chords are basically A, D, and E. But we don't keep that first finger there. We just use our first finger here and do the suspended thing. Now, if you have two guitar players in the band, just to kind of thicken it up, one guy can do the... The other guitar player can play the more traditional power chord and go... Like we did in that other section. You've got two guitar players basically playing the same thing in different spots. and gives it a thicker sound. Pretty simple song, because for the most part, we're done. So let's just review again. So intro. These chords here. Back to the intro. The F. G. Slide down on the G. Chorus. One more time. That repeats several times. Um, let me make sure I haven't forgotten that. So I want to rock and roll all. Party every day. Do the intro lick again. Repeat the verse, repeat the chorus, and you're basically done. Now on the live record, uh, sorry, on the studio recording, the original recording from 1975, from Dress to Kill, it's a fade out. They just keep fading out. I might as well talk about how they do it live. So they want some audience participation, so they'll go... Here, here we go. I'll try and sing at the same time. I'll play quietly for a second here. So we got... Ah, want to rock... Uh, let's sing in the lower register. Ah, want to rock and roll all night. Party every day. Not potty. Party. Ah, <laughs> want to rock and roll all night. Party every day. Ah, want to rock and roll all night. No guitar. A party every day. So live, they'll, they'll sing it without the, uh, the, the guitars or bass, just drums. And when they're done, they reintroduce the intro. But the last time, they'll go back to the open A again. And then they carry the song out and fade the song out. So this is what they're happening. On, this, this is what is happening the last time. It's like, I want to rock and roll all night. Party every day. I want to rock and roll all night. That is the last time. And party every day. I want to bring the A chord back again. And that'll take us to the very end of the live version, which goes like this.